Using Visual Cut, you can burst a crystal report so that each group level one becomes a separate export and a separate email. The export file name and path, as well as the email destination, the email message, and the subject can all be dynamic and controlled using formulas or fields from within the report. For example, this field placed in the group header level one for product type name, or this formula to email placed in the group footer level one. Both of those are suppressed, but they are still recognized by Visual Cut. Let's open this report in Visual Cut. And notice that when I go to the Export Email tab, the group values were quickly scanned and Visual Cut recognized that these are the eight level one group values. It also parsed the information in the report, including the suppressed formulas. So for example, product type name shows competition for the competition group. And if I switch to hybrid, it shows hybrid. Similarly, the to email formula returns a value. It happens to be a constant value for all the group values, but in real life, if you're, say, invoicing your customers, then each customer would have a different email address that you could use. I'll keep the export format as PDF, turn on the export option, Visual Cut detected the grouping logic and will burst on product type name. As export file, I'll select demo1 as the folder, and construct a dynamic export file name by double-clicking the product type name and add sales in, double-click the parameter, which is the year, and complete with .pdf. If I now start the process, eight PDF files are going to be created in that folder. I'll double-click to open that folder. Here are the eight PDF files, and if I open one of them, you will see that it's only for hybrid. Let's set up the email bursting options. I'll double click the to email formula to inject the dynamic information for the email destination. As an attachment, I'll simply attach whatever I exported. For subject, I'll pick up the subject formula. For the email message, I'll use this button to launch an HTML editor. For and double click product type name in and double click the year parameter. Just to demonstrate that this is HTML, I'll highlight this token using a custom color and make the year parameter bold. So now if I preview, because currently kids is selected on the right hand side as the group value, it says this is the sales info for kids, but I can move down to helmets or back up and you can see that the information changes. I'll save all these options and let the process run. Visual Cut comes with a service that listens to an outgoing folder where those emails were packaged. If I double click to open the folder, you can see those that haven't been sent yet, but if I open up one of them, you can see the email message and here's the attachment, I can open it up and indeed that is the information for locks.